The Book of Jasher, also known as the Book of the Upright or the Book of the Just Man, is a non-canonical book that has been lost to history. It contains a collection of various Israelite poems, quoted in various books of the Old Testament. In this video, we are going to learn more about the Book of Jasher, its part in the Old Testament and its purported rediscovered copies. So make sure to watch it till the end. The word Jasher in the Book of Jasher may mean victorious or upright. The Greek and Latin translation of this book is the Book of the Just Man. It is mentioned three times in the Hebrew Bible, but the third reference exists with a variant spelling. The author of this book remains unknown. It was written over 3,500 years ago and is approximately the same age as the Biblical Book of Genesis. It covers about the same time period as Genesis and Exodus but has about twice as much information in it than Genesis. Numerous forgeries of this book have been written over the centuries. Sefer Hayasher is a medieval Hebrew midrash. It can be translated to English as Book of the Correct Record but it is known mostly as the Book of Jasher. It's not the same book that was referenced in the Old Testament. Although it's not the real Book of Jasher, it covers many Jewish legends and themes written in the Old Testament. Another book which claims to be the Book of Jasher is a forgery from the 18th century by Jacob Illiv, an English printer and a religious radical. It purports to be an English translation by Flaccus Albinus Alquinas, a scholar and a teacher from Northumbria. This book was published in November 1750 and is now called Pseudo Jasher to distinguish it from the previous book Sefer Hayasher, which contains genuine Jewish legend unlike this forgery. It claims to be written by Jasher, the son of Caleb, who was one of the lieutenants of Moses. It covers biblical history from creation down to Jasher's time period and is represented as the lost book of Jasher mentioned in the Bible. The title page of the book says, translated into English by Flaccus Albinus Alquinas, of Britain, abbot of Canterbury, who went on a pilgrimage into the Holy Land and Persia, where he discovered this volume in the city of Ghazna. The printer Jacob Illiv was called a blasphemer and was sentenced in 1756 to three years in jail for this fraud. Let's now see the biblical references to the Book of Jasher. Adonisdek was the king of Jerusalem at the time of the Israelite invasion of Canaan. Joshua, the leader of the Israelites, and his army fought Adonisdek's army in battle. When Joshua was winning the battle, the sun started to settle. But he wanted to keep fighting as he was about to win the battle and needed the daylight to do so. So he asked God to cause the moon and the sun to stand still and God did as he asked. This was written in the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 10, verse 13 states, And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves on their enemies. Is this not written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. Joshua was quoting the book of Jasher here not because it was the only source of what occurred, rather, he was stating, in effect, if you don't believe what I'm saying, then go read it in the book of Jasher. Even that book has a record of this event. Jasher also makes an appearance in the book of Samuel. To teach the sons of Judah the bow. Behold, it is written in the book of Jasher. This was spoken by David in his lament over the deaths of Saul and Jonathan. In the Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible, a possible third reference to the book appears in 1 Kings, chapter 8. Verse 53 says that the preceding prayer of Solomon is written in the Book of Song. The Hebrew version of Book of Song could be Sefer Hasher, which is the same as Sefer Hayasher with two letters transposed. Sefer Hayasher is translated as the Book of Jasher in English. But some scholars say that it really meant the Book of Song and not Jasher. 
Remember the Midrash, Sefer Hayasher? It includes texts that fit both biblical references from the books of Joshua and Samuel. And when they were smiting, the day was declining toward evening, and Joshua said in the sight of all the people, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon, until the nation shall have revenged itself upon its enemies. And the Lord hearkened to the voice of Joshua, and the sun stood still in the midst of the heavens, and it stood still six and thirty moments, and the moon also stood still and hastened not to go down a whole day. Only teach thy sons the bow and all the weapons of war, in order that they may fight the battles of their brother who will rule over his enemies. One could easily believe that this might be the real book of Jasher mentioned in the Bible, but no, it's not. Like I said, it's a medieval work. It contains medieval names for territories and countries mentioned in the Bible. What other interesting information does this book provide? Let's see. We all know that in the Bible, God rejected Cain's offering but favored his brother, Abel's offering, which led to Cain becoming the first ever murderer of this world after killing Abel. This book contains some additional dialogue between Cain and Abel before the murder. Abel even tells Cain about what might happen if Cain murders him there and what might happen if he didn't. Jasher chapter 1, verses 21, 22, and 23. And Cain said to his brother Abel, Surely if I slay thee this day, who will require thy blood from me? And Abel answered Cain, saying, Surely God who has made us in the earth, he will avenge my cause, and he will require my blood from thee shouldst thou slay me, for the Lord is the judge and arbiter, and it is he who will requite man according to his evil, and the wicked man according to the wickedness that he may do upon earth. And now, if thou shouldst slay me here, surely God knoweth thy secret views, and will judge thee for the evil which thou didst declare to do unto me this day. According to this book, the sons of men did some weird genetic experiments which provoked the Lord. Chapter 4, verse 18, And their judges and rulers went to the daughters of men and took their wives by force from their husbands according to their choice, and the sons of men in those days took from the cattle of the earth, the beasts of the field and the fowls of the air, and taught the mixture of animals of one species with the other, in order therewith to provoke the Lord. And God saw the whole earth and it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted its ways upon earth, all men and all animals. It also says that all the righteous people died before the great flood. Chapter 4, verse 20, And all men who walked in the ways of the Lord, died in those days, before the Lord brought the evil upon man which he had declared, for this was from the Lord that they should not see the evil which the Lord spoke of concerning the sons of men. To conclude, the book of Jasher mentioned in the Bible was completely lost and has not survived to modern times. Other books with the same name are just forgeries and other Jewish works, but not the one mentioned in the book of Joshua or Samuel. Even though Jasher was not considered inspired scripture, it is clear that the inspired scriptures encourage people to study the book of Jasher. If you want to learn about the Book of Enoch, another book which is not included in the Bible, I've already made a video about it. I've given the link in this video's description and comment section. You can also tap that button to watch it. Do you think we will ever find this lost book someday? Let me know by leaving a comment. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, tap the thumbs up icon and share this video. Hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell icon. I will see you again in a new video with a new topic to explain. Thanks for watching.